Welcome back, everybody, to the defense. It's our last game of the night, ATN versus Monkey Business, game number two. Welcome back, Durka. Hi. See that intro? I did it. We did it, Twitch. <laughs> no reverb. I was looking at the camera, switched you the overlay the relatively in, smooth. Introduced you know. me. And now <laughs> we can switch, you know. And, and, now, and now I'm ruining it by putting <laughs> attention to it. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the game, shall we? As, uh... SF first pick for ATM. They're not going to let Miracle have that hero. Banning out the Meepo Nature's Prophet, though, in My the first oh. phase. Okay. Okay. And they also identify Moon Meander Nature's Prophet, man. Not to be messed around with. Mm -hmm. Screen Tusk, though, this time around. Yeah. And Shadowfiend has definitely been one of Alternate's, uh, I guess, key heroes when they do get victories. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's been difficult for them. You know, they're in this situation where they're in these kind of qualifiers for top tier tournaments, playing against the top teams, and people very rarely see them in, like, their comfort zone. Because they're, they're one of these teams trying to break through. And they're obviously good enough to get into a position where they're playing against the top teams, but yes. they're not quite good enough to actually beat them yet. So yeah, let's not let's like, not forget they made it into phase two. Exactly, like, like, that's pretty impressive. Everyone sort of sees them lose, which is which is kind of, kind of sad to yeah. be honest, because they're they're a great team. Yeah, because the the games that they're gonna tune in for an ATN game, it's going to be you know this sort of matchup: ATN versus Monkey Business, the hot team right now, and they're just gonna watch them lose, but. If you if you actually watch some of the tier two, tier three Dota, ATN is actually um, a team that oh yeah you got to be careful with. Um, what do we see here in second banning phase? Miracle, AM could be banned out as well as the Winter Wyvern. Yeah, a vacuum into Winter's Curse. You don't want to be dealing uh, with yeah. that. Definitely not. And it's a dangerous one. Both of the defensive uh, heroes are going to be banned away by Monkey Business, though. Uh, they take away the Dazzle and the Bane. Hmm. And then insta pick gyro, like there was no contemplation time there at all, just straight into the gyrocopter. And team alternate. What? Like the Slada's still out there, you can go for the Slada Tusk kind of uh, dual lane if you want to in the off lane. Screen can still play that four roll Tusk, which is pretty good for him. Then you've got the minus armor from SF plus the Slada. But I don't know, they, they, need, they need more mobility. Definitely. Against Darkseer, Spirit Breaker, Gyro. Gyro goes for movement speed build with, like, a Miracle likes to go the Phase Helm, Aquila, S and Y build, just mm -hmm. to give him that ability to run towards people. Spirit Breaker and Darkseer, you know, it goes without saying, they, they they definitely close the distance between themselves and, and, and the enemy very quickly. But what kind of mobility do you go for? You know, do you go for heroes that buy four staffs and things like that? Do you rely on the Tusk Snowball? It's reacting to these team fights, it's not going to be easy. And what reactive heroes are there left to actually try and mm. TP in? There's, there's Witch Doctor, maybe, which can be good. Sustain against the Darkseer Iron Shell early on for your safe laner with the Voodoo Restoration. Cask is pretty good against Spirit Breaker Darkseer dual lane. Yeah, I think you're more likely to go Sustain Witch in this sort of situation. I like Witch Doctor and like Juggernaut. Because I really like Juggernaut versus Gyrocopter because his mobility doesn't mean as much because Omni Slash is, you know, your primary primary source of damage for most of the game. Um, I feel like the healing wards would give them between the Voodoo Restoration, the healing ward, and the mech on the SF. They'd actually be in a pretty decent position to survive through this initial burst at first, like monkey business with just the vacuum and the gyrocopter ultimate. We'll see if they double down on damage, though. So is this going to be crit spirit breaker moon? Moon yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they do um, a dual lane. <laughs> There's still a Templar assassin in the pool, actually. So I'm wondering if they give no tail the gyro this time and not miracle. Even though they are Radiant side, the uh, the TA against Shadowfiend is a pretty good matchup for Miracle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Oh, Kiro. yeah. Damn. So this means now that Fly will actually play the Spirit Breaker. In the, I mean, this fits because he usually plays the dual offlane with Moon Meander. Yeah. So it's just normally we say Crit play the Spirit Breaker, right? So, Crit now going to be playing the Jakira. Last time we saw him, his ice pass were amazing. And that game against Complexity, right, he, was it, he was, was like... Was it Cole? Uh, was it? Uh, they, played, they played Scary Faces and Empire. Five seconds remaining. Didn't the, who, did who did Complexity play last night? 
P is it PR or did they play PR today? No, they played PR today. They played a good team yesterday. Vega. It was Vega. Oh, Vega. That's yeah. right. Okay, so the uh... yeah, it was Monkey against Empire and Scary Faces last night. But yeah, those either way, those ice paths were super on point. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that was the game where General went like fifteen and zero. Oh yeah. Yeah, on the Queen of Pain, and then all of a sudden still Monkey lost. Business turned it back, and they they still win. Oh man. Five seconds remaining. That must have been crushing. Oh, clockwork for Team Alternate. So that's the kind of reactive play that I was looking for, just to try and get their levels on lane and then come in with some good ways to stop uh, and to halt it. Good, We're on good point. Band. Dirk, give yeah. me a high five, man. We're on point with the draft. Oh, yeah. All right. This is this is ours. I, I'm not... I like right, Last pick. No. Last pick. What do you reckon? Uh, last band, sorry, for Team Alternate. Oh, um... Okay, what we still need uh, I, I mid. Think, I think TA as a safety ban. TA or Wind Ranger? Yeah, for me it was a Wind Ranger. Okay. Um, just because it matches up. If it was Tempo, if they were on the dire side, I would say TA 100%. But here they are lacking in stuns a little bit, and it, it does help set up for things. Mm -hmm. Whoa, Ooh. the No Tail Beastmaster there actually got a ban away. So that mid beast. Hmm. Oh, Immediate what? Invoker, all Hello. right. We didn't see that one coming, that's oh, for that's, sure. That's out of left field, definitely. All right, Monkey Business, maybe this is a confidence thing, that they're feeling comfortable enough in this game that they can afford to go something like this. Um, or maybe they actually... I mean, it works. If you go either Invoker, Exhort has Meteor, and Quaswex has EMP. Either Invoker is going to be really valuable with the Wombo combo of Darkseer, Vacuum... Gyrocopter ult, ice wall, and charge. I can't remember them ever Five playing Invoker. Is this a No-Tail Invoker yeah. or a Miracle Invoker? Oh. Like that's, that's my big question. You know, I know No-Tail plays Invoker, but obviously sure. Miracle's a very mechanically practiced player, and I'm sure he's a really good Invoker as well. So, I'm actually thinking it's Miracle Invoker. So I can't find Invoker in like the past 15 games or something. Huh. Well, if anyone, else, if anyone else out there knows, or uh, or has seen them play Invoker before, as Team Alternate Huskar. Huskar! Uh, I mean, this has got to be a response to the Invoker. I don't think they had the Huskar as their hero before. It, it is really good versus Gyrocopter, but if you look at this damage, it's all magical focus. Like, Invoker does some physical damage, but primarily magical. Same kind of goes with Gyrocopter, right? Super magical focus. Huskar is an incredibly good counter against him. Uh, do, you, do you think Monkey Business were... Spirit Breakers, Magical Bash. Sorry, go ahead. Do you think they were um, maybe expecting Alternate to go Invoker themselves? Because we've seen Team Alternate go Invoker mm -hmm. with this kind of setup. You know, a couple of stuns here and there, Shadow Fiend mid, and then they go Invoker safe lane. So maybe it's a little bit of a block pick and a little bit of a comfort pick for Miracle. Yeah, it could be. But we've also seen Invokers go for that Alacrity early build. Mm -hmm. Going for the zero one three kind of thing, and then switching back into Cold Snap plus, uh, uh, going back into the Quas plus Exhort. Yeah. So Invoker will have a lot of right click damage against the Huskar, which is going to be scary for Supreme actually. But we'll see. Miracle's gone for the Null, which used to be indicative of Exhort build, but nowadays it's you no, know, yeah, not it really, uh, not really showing anything at all. Because it always used to be. Blades of Attack, Tango, Branch was mm -hmm. definite Wex, and then Null Talisman plus Tango's was Exhort, but you never know now. I kind of feel like Quas. Hmm. Quas Wex, if you go with the Orchid build, how much value does that have in this game? It's not good. That good versus Huskar. I mean, there's an increase in in damage for you as the Invoker. I and there is something to be said about stopping inner vitality. Even if the yeah. magic damage of Orchid doesn't mean anything, the silence can be okay. I think the pure damage from Sunstrike plus the just physical right click from Alacrity is going to be better. Yeah, I think so too. And then you and the, you also charge you also Sunstrike. have um, a little bit later on with the Exor builds you have deafening. No, um, I'm actually thinking of. <laughs> Alacrity. Yeah. Putting onto the gyrocopter. Even onto because yourself. It, it's such a huge increase in damage when you have flat cannon going. It's like Alacrity early even on this invoker. Has been winning lanes for him. 
We saw the invoke uh, from ATN uh, last week or two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. 1v1 to Darkseer with alacrity. You just right-click down, it's like three clicks onto a, onto a melee creep with Iron Shell and it's gone. Hmm. It's a ton of damage because it's been buffed a couple of times recently. Yeah. It's one of those forgotten abilities. Fly is going to be caught out here. He does have charge, so he should be fine. Unless they get the right cast at the right time. Unless, oh, yeah, okay, Ion Shell actually allows them to be able to challenge Elisa. She's going to have to throw out the cast defensively now. And burn through a lot. Oh, now the Surge comes out. They have level 2 on the... Uh, they're going to desperately need the Oscar's help. Fly does not commit, though. He could have gotten first blood, but it probably would have been a guaranteed death on him. Now it may still be a death. He's forced to charge out the Iron Shell. They're going for Elisa to get the kill. Oh, Elisa, why did you come back like that? They just waited out. They would have had a cast soon. Moonyander is giving up oh, his no. life in exchange for going for screen, but double kill on Supreme is it actually works out just fine for ATN, even if they, I mean, if the Witch Doctor didn't come back like that, easy double kill and first blood for them. But unfortunately he gave away first blood. And they're charging back up on the screen again. Yeah, they burned through some serious amount of regen. He still does not have level two on fly and not gonna be close enough to take advantage of Ion Shell. Why the hell are people in chat saying Sunstrike is magical damage? It's definitely pure. Yes. Yeah, that's right. I'm and not going crazy. And it pierces magic community, which was a change like three patches ago. It, it's ridiculously good. Well, it looks like we are going to have a Quasuex build on our hands. Eh, you still don't know. That's true. I, I suppose you can go with a Cold Snap early. Cask? Bouncing back to Moon Manor. They do get some damage. They're going to go on to Supreme. The Snowball's still ready to go, though, and that'll stall up Fly enough that they can get the kill quite easily, as he will be burning out slowly but surely. And this dual lane's not really working out for monkey business. It, they may turn things around soon, now that, like, regen is rapidly running out for this tri lane. And, obviously, Exotic Deer needs his, his courier as much as possible, so... This is Miracle's first pro invoker game. I'm looking forward to it. All right, he finally gets the Wex. So, Quas Wex confirmed. Thanks to that Phage guy. He's, he's got, what, 223 pro games so far. Oh, well, here we go. Magic in the making. But apparently he plays a lot of invoker in pubs, so, you know, he's, like, like you said, definitely very mechanically enhanced on, uh, on a lot of heroes, and... Yeah, Quas Wex it is. Probably go for the hunting build. Yeah, phase boots into Orchid, run around with the Ghost Walk and go for pickoffs. How's Nisha doing? I haven't really looked at him between uh, that top lane getting so much action, obviously wanting to check out the middle lane, which is currently being charged. Fly, they, they get a... Oh, he got a bash. That means the EMP guaranteed lands. The tornado ensures the kill Half? or not. Oh, yes. oh, he finally gets it. They do have a beautiful block out from screen that might be able to get the kill on Miracle. He still has a po potion to keep himself alive a little bit longer. Ali Slash can't quite get it in screen. Well, he's got another six seconds until I shards up, but they can't go for the kill. That cask bounce almost secures the life of the Shadow Fiend, but holy crap, that was close. Yeah. A long range projectile from downtown Miracle just launches it out onto the SF. And this, this frees things up on the other lanes, you know. No tail still falling away down Whoops, the lot. Here's no the They're going to block him out. Oh, good. Tornado hits on three. The race is going to miss out. Exotic Deer is actually underneath the tower, though, because of that. He's going to die, most likely, as he's going to get run down by uh, Moon Meander with that Ion Shell. He's not quite in range, though. Needs he's a little bit speed. more. He's finally got the movement speed. Exotic Deer tries to go for the Juke, but can't get it. Moon Meander, healthy enough, will be able to escape on top of everything else. And things are beginning to tilt a bit for ATN in this middle lane. Nisha, nice. Gets the good set of cogs at the right time. <laughs> oh, goodness. Nisha? What are you giggling at? Oh, I, I just went back to the uh, Twitch chat to see the... The reaction to the yeah. Sunstrike thing. 2k chat, come on now. We expect it better from join Dota chat. How, how the roles have reversed. Nisha ain't oh, dead. No. Rocket Barrage. Oh, no! no. Oh, the bash! bash. Fly. Oh my me? god, these bashes fly. Please, get a hold of yourself, man. Dyer's bottom tower is under Holy cow. All right, four to three right now. The comeback, monkey business, they... 
They're coming back into this game even faster than they were uh, in game one. They lost out on that top lane pretty heavily, but now with the rotations of Moon, they're, they're winning uh, both middle and bottom lane. He's ready to go for another round in this middle lane if uh, he sees the opportunity. Radiance top tower is under attack. So they built stacks up, yeah? Yeah, Screen is actually building things up in the jungle for the Shadow Fiend, who's having a torrid time at mid. I can't believe Miracle is doing so well, but they'll see the Observer Ward placed by the Radiant. They know there's high ground vision here, and I guess they'll try and sentry that out as quickly as they can. But this Spirit Breaker causing nuisance everywhere he goes, and look how much pressure they're putting on this middle lane. Even with the two Observer Wards out here scouting for movements. Oh, it's it, always so dangerous it to, to stack against a Darkseer. Doesn't look like... Oh, maybe they will be punished. They're going to see Screen. The charge is coming out. Screen needs some help. Has a Snowball. So we'll be able to buy himself some time. Good casket. Ice Shards coming out. But no, he just burns out from that Ion Shell. Now the EMP as El is going to be forced back. Supreme has his level 6, though. Tornado goes out and finishes off the Witch Doctor. Now Miracle. He'll be able to get out as well. As it seems, our SF bounce back, not going to be able to get fly, gets to the neutrals and denies himself. <laughs> Beautifully set out. Now No Tail's going to come in. Oh, what an ultimate this is going to be. Tries to go for Supreme, turns back around for Exotic Deer, which is the guaranteed kill. And a Supreme? I mean, you can't just let them walk away from this one, right? You got to oh battle it gosh. out. Supreme has no HP left, though. 20 HP. The flak? The flak kills him. Oh, my God. He gets it. Just a little no, no, no. bit of HP. Now, Elise Sash is done for as well. Monkey business. Every step of the way, they have ATN countered. How does that even happen? Dyer's middle tower is under oh, my goodness. You don't even know what to say about this game oh, anymore. It's oh, just like ATN. <laughs> all, all I wanted to talk about was the two wards here from the Dire are watching for the Shadow Fiend so heavily. They want to keep him secured and this lane on lockdown as much as they can. Stop Miracle from dominating with the rotations coming in from the Spirit Breaker and Darkseer. And then move the Shadow Fiend into the jungle to farm. Yeah. But that one movement, that one movement from the Spirit Breaker Darkseer to go across and then up. Force the Shadow Fiend Witch Doctor, uh, yeah, the Shadow Fiend Witch Doctor to back themselves up and then to come in, and then the rest of Alternate just had to dogpile in to try and save the stacks and save the, uh, save the little bit of gold they saved up for them, and they can't find this ward. Team Alternate, two sentries, can't find it. Exotic Deer, is he dead? It looks like it. Yeah. He knows it. Oh, oh his snowball saved, maybe? No, Miracle still gets it. They do have the cask, and he's not able to get out of it. Oh, the cask bounce MVP. bounce to him, too. Maybe with the wand, he can survive through this one. He's got a lot of movement speed, but the hookshot actually catches him. He was trying to dodge that one. Meanwhile, in top lane, Huskar goes down. You bring enough magic damage to the table. Apparently, you can still kill the Huskar, especially since he only has level 3 uh, Berserker's Blood. Oh, uh, apparently he has played before. Uh, Evoker for Miracle. Oh, has but it, it just been not... an unticketed game? Yeah, not logged into uh, Death Dota. Yeah. Missed out game. So not yeah. his first then. But it's definitely not one of the heroes we've come to expect from him. But it's been performing so well. And actually he's going for a pretty old school build, the phase drums. Something that we haven't seen in, in quite some time, honestly. You know, we've seen, oh god, Nisha. Well, it's working out really well. Yeah. Nisha's gonna have all his mana burned away. Does have enough for Mango, pops the cogs. He will be able to get the burnout. Tornado still lands, though. Nisha is gonna, still going to die here. Turns around, tries to get as much damage as possible on a Miracle, but it's not going to be enough for Elisash to finish off this Invoker. Now the charge is coming in. Exotic Deer, he's got nowhere to run to. This is a much more early game-oriented build and something that we used to see a ton of back uh, like back when Syndrome was playing Invoker. You know, back, back in, what, 2013? When, when they won Dreamhack back mm -hmm. then, ages ago. But the phase drums and then maybe even the Yule's Invoker for the, the max movement speed build, basically. Very early game focused, mana regen, tank yourself up and just go. You just go on in. Right. Recently, it's been more the phase um, Orchid build and then back into the Midas to transition into Exort. And then you go for you know a little more mobility. It's crit's caught down a bot lane with a good hook shot. That yeah. should be his demise. But yeah, it's interesting to see that 
Miracle maybe is a little bit worried about the magic nuke power coming out from Team Alternate. As like ships in the night, he walks straight past the Shadow Fiend. Exotic like, Deer is only level seven. I was like, maybe he can make something happen with this invis, you know? But he doesn't even have Requiem, not even close to it. It's so bad for an SF to be this underleveled. They're gonna be caught here. El Sash, they're trying to set up for the race, but these heroes are just too tanky. Exotic Deer can't really stop this one unless with the help of Supreme, they're gonna go for it now. The Yulpin gets laid out. Race on one, two, and they actually finish off the Darks here at the very least. Supreme pops his armlet and will continue to go for No Tail. Stopped by the Snowball. Tornado okay. comes in. Maybe No Tail can actually get a kill here. He's going for Screen, trying to finish him off. The Ultimate comes out for the SF, and that gets the kill. So they'll fly. He's got Screen on lockdown with the Ultimate. Miracle comes in. One. He's gonna run down Nisha underneath his tower. I'm sure of it. What? Hmm. They're letting him live? They have a Spear Breaker. Those are two very tanky heroes. Why wouldn't they go for it? I'm not sure. Like... Afraid of buybacks, maybe? I guess so. Buyback TP in from someone? Mercy? I still think <laughs> Clockwork Mercy could be there. Mercy from Miracle? I don't know. Got to be kidding me. After what they've done to him previously. Uh, Crit has been mega farming, by the way. Before he got caught out in that bottom lane, like, he was just sitting there farming his heart's content. And he's going to have a very fast four staff at this rate. Hookshot actually catches him. They'll be able to get this kill. Uh-oh. But El Nisha, he's going to be caught out here. Looks like the Cogs actually came in at the right time. Nisha's still dead. Witch Doctor trying to do what he can, but No Tail's just too damn big. <laughs> level 11 Gyrocopter. How do you deal with this? 12 minutes in, he's level 11. Like, what, what's his experience per minute? It's, it's got to be ridiculous if I can find the freaking button that tells Experience me. per minute is 531. Yep. See, I've, I've got my keys memorized. Congrats. Professional commentator. Who, who, I mean, who, who really who presses it? XP per minute, honestly? Yeah, no, I've, got, I've got the good ones happens. memorized. Like, kills, deaths, last hits, net worth, hero level, um, fantasy points, you know? Fantasy <laughs> points? <laughs> I, I like, I've considered actually taking out the hotkey for that one. What? It's the best thing ever. Yeah, okay. I, I have actually taken out the... Uh, the fantasy points. Cause there's, there's another one, right? Where you bring up the big scoreboard of fantasy points. Oh, I have no idea where that is. I think it's me meant to be like F11 or some some bollocks, but... Oh. 6.2 already on No-Tail. Charge! Alright, they're gonna get two. Ice Path doesn't quite stretch to Exotic Deer, not that it matters. Like, that's... That's devastating. Yeah. And now they TP back, they farm, they maybe take the tier 2 I, here. Nisha, I don't think you really want to challenge anybody here. If you got a blade mail, you could challenge the gyrocopter, just see what happens, but that's uh, not it. Tusk is coming in, ice shards, alright, they're just going in, they've actually got a really good setup here, but they don't get off the cogs, no kill, actually getting away from this one, gets off a lot of rocket barrage damage before he finally dies, the vacuum right back into the flames there, but Supreme keeps going, will be able to catch crit as he burns out, looks like Clockwork did end up dying there. They want and they want to kill Huskar and he's dead. Yeah, there's no way he survives through this one, if they just get one, ba or just a permanent control there of the cold snap, now Screen comes in, tries to finish off anyone, Hero, but he can't quite get it, maybe the nukes come in, one kill, Kill second one, Moon Meander, he will die here is... Yep, they get that one. The Witch Doctor chase away Miracle, who's playing cat and mouse games now with ATN. Hiding himself in the trees until he's ready to pop back out. Has Cold Snap ready to go. I didn't actually expect him to go for the drums Yules. I thought he'd go drums and then still into the Orchid, but he, he's fully committing for this build. Movement speed on movement speed, yeah. man. Weird. Can't believe no Orchid. Alright, well there's the mech done. now for the SF, it's, finally here. It's 14 minutes in, 25 to 12. I swear it feels like we've had half an hour of game already. Yeah. Once again, there. ATN drafted this kind of lineup that's not meant to slow down the game. And they just like lose a little bit. It starts going against them as time goes on, further and further. Now we're seeing trade-offs. Five for one, situations like that. Hookshot does land on the crit. And no cogs. Nisha doesn't actually catch him. They wanted to go for Miracle, it looks like, and they will be able to get that. 
that kill at the very least. The charge comes right on through. Setting up No-Tail. No-Tail not actually throwing out his ultimate. It looks like he used it oh, to farm, cool. but he does have a BKB. Still, the fight oh, just went out. What a vacuum. That's the setup they really needed with the ice path over the top. ATN gets destroyed by that one. No-Tail almost dies. Screen. Go for the kill. Snowball. He gets it. He managed to get the kill. Finally, Fly's going to come back in. Screen managed to finish off another one, but it looks like Crit with another ultimate. He'll be able to help uh, kill Elisash and Screen. Well, he doesn't have anything, so Charge plus Yearn, all the burn damage in the world, should be able to get this final death on ATN. Three for five exchange, but Fly comes out the big winner there. 2,200 gold on him right now. That's with your Invoker dead for 90% of the fight as well. Yeah. Perfect vacuum wall, ice paths galore from Crit. Oh man, Fly is now level 11 on the Spirit Breaker, and yeah, like you said, a ton of gold, but Team Alternate, they just kept getting wiped. Wipe after wipe. Nisha with the blade mail is good. The Huskar just hasn't had the chance to get that sort of free flowing movement through a team fight just yet. Maybe now. They're so gonna actually get a good hook shot. And Nisha catches both and traps one in the cogs. Crit. Oh boy, he's in trouble. You all set for Merkel. Actually gonna save Crit here. And Nisha oh, the new has kids no way to get back in. Man. Four staff finally finished up for Jakiro. <laughs> Crit's like, I need this. Like the 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 damned uh, clockwork. He knows the only like really good hero for him to go on is going to be that Jakiro. So Crit is just the target of this onslaught of hook shots every single time. But no longer now that we have the four staff. Let's go in. Wait, Sonic Deer. Charge, snowball, the charge. Okay, the tornado actually stops it, but still, they have the cask. Maybe they can keep. No, there's just too much burn damage. He can't possibly survive, not without the mana for a mech. And the ATN. Well, time to back themselves away. They cannot challenge monkey business for this tier 2 tower. Do I really sound like John Oliver? No, you're just English. That's all. <laughs> You're just English. I, I mean, let's be real. That's that's the only like, you know, the meme with me is Zangief. Do I really look like Zangief? <laughs> no. Um, I'm very thin. I'm very frail. I do not have much muscle on me. Uh. All right, Zangief. But I have a mohawk, so I must be Zangief. Okay, anti mage. <laughs> I mean, anti mage. Even that one doesn't fit. I've got a belly, guys. Anime just got like a, you know, 24 pack or something. 24. Yeah, not six, not eight, 24. Abs for days. His abs have abs. Abception. All right, monkey business start. They're down to slow this game a little bit. I mean, they've won such a big advantage. They're soon going to have a Crimson Guard on fly. I was like, are you going to go Shadow Blade with all that money? Like, what are you going to do? It's a support, you know, when you hit the jackpot and you survive through a fight and you get kills, it's like mana from heaven, right? You're like, oh god, I can buy an item! Wow! A full item! <laughs> and uh, Spirit Breaker actually opts for the uh, very team fight focused Crimson Guard. So, that's pretty legit. I like the idea. Against Death Ward, against the uh, presence of the Dark Lord from the Shadow Fiend as well. It's it's okay against Huskar, I guess. Right click physical damage, but they're gonna. Oh oh god, three eight three is about to become. Oh no, what? He stops to ult and fly. Oh, bash. the first hit bash. Why not? Fly's gonna be so. Oh no, the hook shot misses. Now they're in a bad position. The No Tail pops the BKB to get the vacuum back in. Kill screen. Exotic Deer is being forced away. Meanwhile, Huskar on the left hand side is actually gone in for Miracle, but the Yule Scepter prevents Huskar from being able to finish him off. And Nisha will end up being. Down now, they're going to be corralled in. ATM are stuck underneath their tier two tower. Supreme's just going to have to fight his way out of this one, but he's being kited around. Yeah. Now he's going to be dying. Elisa, she'll fall as well. as Snowtail hunts him down. Triple kill for Gyro. <laughs> the one guy who survives is the Shadow Fiend who got initiated on. Gets himself yeah. back to base just by walking. But the rest of his team, they paid the ultimate price, losing every single hero. And now it's high ground time. We almost have two kills a minute for just one team. Just just one of the teams almost has two kills a minute. Monkey business get another wipe here in the next 30 seconds and we'll see. Uh, zoning EMP. That's one way to stop him from uh, getting to the defense of this tier three tower. <laughs> 
Anisha looking for the opening, blocked out by Ali Sash and the uh, monkey business aren't gonna throw away their leads by making a hasty team fight. Looks like they may back up. Do they have a smoke or anything? Thinking that they they could re-engage with a, a smoke, but the fake back. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. I mean, who needs a smoke when you have this much map vision? The only thing that the dire seed is uh, side is seen is that they haven't left the jungle yet. Only no tail just now being revealed. Roshan is up, but Huskar has never had a moment to breathe to try and get that one. When was the last time they crossed the river? Oh wait, never. Yeah, Tier 1s are still all standing 20 minutes in. Tornado EMP with a charge. That pick off, monkey business. That's actually 40 seconds on the clock for the Witch Doctor. I'm not sure how he's got that long of a death timer. <laughs> he's level 11. But, yeah, maybe he's... I guess I feel like maybe he's been the last one to die in a lot of these team fights, so maybe he's gotten the experience from some of the, the few kills that ATN has gotten. Like, he was actually out leveling the clockwork. Until just now. Clockwork is just at level 11 behind the Witch Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> They're all almost the same level. Huskar just took level 12. That's either a really good sign or a really <laughs> bad sign when you're all the same level. <laughs> no tail trying to get MKB. Why don't they go for Roshan for themselves? Hmm. I guess they don't have a medallion or anything like that. They don't have a massive amount of physical damage. You actually don't have a single point in Exort for Miracle. He's gone full wax, four class. And without the Midas, obviously, he's not going to be uh, getting a great amount of levels. Oh, Tornado God. EMP. Oscar, have fun with your mana pool. Wow. He actually has to pop Magic Wand in fights at maxed Magic Wand just to get inner vitality. He has to deal with an EMP in the beginning of a fight. Rough times, rough times. Tragic stuff. Reminds me of the days when people were pushing with Centaur and stuff like that. You know, Centaur, Brewmaster, Spirit Breaker trying to push into towers and the Syndra and Invoker would come with Tornado EMP and just stop them. Yeah. Have to have to buy three arcane boots per team just to try and deal with the EMP. Miracle. You, you're hunting this. Nisha, oh, the smoke is popped. They're going to catch one. Oh, they actually jump in and they get a cogs, but Crit immediately gets out. The Ice Shards doesn't block out. Miracle, he's still going to be able to fight this one. They stop doing Roshan, come back in. No Tail pops his BKB. Supreme, he's just not doing any damage whatsoever, but the Witch Doctor Ultimate was doing a lot until it gets stopped by the Tornado. Now they have the setup of the wall, and they're going to be able to catch Exotic Deer. Can't get off his ultimate. Oscar goes down as well. Screen, I mean, the cast stops a lot. Witch Doctor's actually doing the most damage in all this fight from AT. In, but they will still lose him, and it's only going to be Nisha as well as Screen's Tusk. They managed to stay alive, and Monkey Business go right back to finishing up Roshan. The full extraction for No Tail. He drops to like 100 HP, gets himself to the very back of the fight, and the rest of his team just uh, herd ATN back towards their base. But you're right, Roshan is going to be taken finally after that team fight, and putting it onto No Tail, I guess. Bloodstone on Mooney Ender. You know, the, the casual ducks here, Bloodstone, as you do. With 11 charges now up on him. Top, tower is under <sighs> top lane, tier 1 tower is dropping fast. Is it going to be the creeps being the MVP for ATN, taking the first objective of this game? They can't, even no. with the full range creeps. Not yet. Maybe oh, another push. Another day, creeps. Another creep. Another day. Creep another day. Shadow Fiend? Fake cancelling, or fake casting and then cancelling. Yeah, I mean, what can you do, right? There's nothing you can... Does he even have full souls? You no. can't You can't go farm at this... Like, you have to wait for them to push farm into your base. Yeah, There's he, nothing else you can do. He needs to clear through three waves or so. Supreme, okay. stop. Huskar can't be taking these creeps. They... Because he can't go and farm this jungle and flash farm that. Yeah. They need to give him these waves. Or give him the souls. bottom lane. Like, Nisha, does he really need to farm this? I don't think so. For four staff? Why do we need Huskar and SF on the same Wait, lane, guys? He has four staff. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. Let's be real, I don't think ATN are either. 
I mean, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure they're they're kind of lost in the sauce at this point in time. They well, they've shot, been shot dying. Yeah, it's one of those games where you've died so many times. You're just like, I don't even know what's yeah. happening. I've got full souls, right, guy? Oh, the game oh. just hasn't ended. No, I don't. If, uh, I've got a twenty thousand lead by twenty five minutes. Pretty good. Oscar can be happy that there's like no direct counter to him. Yeah. There's no AA, there's no it, massive amount of physical damage. So yeah, I think that really is the thing, right? That If he can get it flowing, then... Well, well, Monkey Business don't have great high ground heroes. Like, Gyrocopter's not very good. Invoker is probably not amazing. Uh, Jig Hero's, I guess, the best hero that they have, actually, going high ground. But they don't want to get Huskard. I mean, it's still early on to the game. Huskar is still an incredibly large threat. So Monkey Business have been playing this just a bit slow, making sure that they keep the advantage. Coconuts never stop. <laughs> and I like how, like, by the time, if you stretch out that cask enough, where it's always it bounce, does the full amount of bounces, but it does, like, really, really long, drawn-out bounces, you actually have another cask up. By the time it finishes up. All right. Bye bye, mana. Oh, God. Supreme gets off inner vitality, but boy, he drops so low. All right. Monkey business are being very disciplined in their push. It's like the safest push I've ever seen with this large of a gold lead. They disable you from being able to respond, chip down the tier three, back up, rinse and repeat. Every single time they get some damage from No Tail, some damage from the, uh,. Liquid fire. Slowly but surely. Stop the homing nothing. missile. Stop the cask bouncing. Is that Look maxed out homing missile? It is. The poor little wolf. Hook shot in. They've got crit. They're going to try and go for a good set of cogs here, but No Tail just pops VKB. Tries to man fight Supreme up, and he's being controlled up by Fly as well. Supreme is going to be dropping here pretty soon. If they have the physical damage, the vacuum goes out. Exotic Deer lets loose the ultimate. The damage reduction is big, and that means Supreme is actually going to be able to turn and fight against No Tail. No Tail can't win that man fight, as they do still pick up the kill on the toss. The rest Tornado the goes team, out. Though. Elisa, she's going to be forced away. No Tail actually does end up dying and losing that Aegis. Supreme is going ham right now, but it's just not enough damage. He survives through everything. They're actually going to come back in. Exotic Tear pops BKB. They're locked inside the cogs. That's not a great position, even with the BKB. Miracle slowing him down. The Shivas goes out. Miracle will be able to get out. Looks like No Tail in deep is finally able to finish off the Huskar, but it cost him his own life. So that's worth the trade off there for ATN. His Huskar is now going to buy back. Miracle. They're going to TP in. Here's yours. Can he get him? Oh, uh, that's a mistake. That. That's not the that's, Yules. That's, uh... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's healing through it. He's got Ghost... Oh, oh my oh, god, okay. Huskar, why? One more hit, man. Why didn't you just keep going? Dude. He's got, like, four levels of Quas. <laughs> he knows it. He gives him... Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> wow. Tragic stuff, man. So the buyback does nothing for them. I mean, you saw that time. If you get off the damage reduction from the SF ultimate, and you already have such limited damage, physical damage on your team, Huskar is like impossible to kill. Yeah. They managed to force him back, but you know, that's how give his life for it. A Huskar who literally has half the net worth of the opposing enemy carry actually killed No Tail. And that was with him messing up a little bit as well. Yeah, that's how bad the gyrocopter is versus Huskar. Oh. Supreme, he needs some big items. I wonder if he does go for a BKB though. Because the only thing really annoying him is the little sort of ticks of damage when he is armor toggling, the sort of, uh, you know, rocket barrage, liquid fire, stuff like that. Even though it is heavily mitigated, it still can finish him off. Flat cannon's pretty annoying too, but. I don't know. Evasion? He's, he's going for the AC, actually. Oh, wow. I thought maybe casual plate mail then into like a BKB or the uh, the Halberd wouldn't be awful. Mm -hmm. You've got Shiva's guard over a miracle. And now, finally, the points in Exor is building up the alacrity. 90 bonus attack speed. Is he going Aghanims? Yeah, I guess so. 
Yeah. So it gives that one extra level. Spells. I mean, who has BKB? Shadowfing, that's it, right? The Deafening Blast is going to be so good against Team Alternate. A big AoE Deafening Blast a little bit earlier on. Oh. Goodbye, sweet prince. Witch Doctor, you were... You were the hope of ATN. But I just want to ward! I'm not sure why he's going so aggressively towards, though. Yeah, you really don't need much... much vision that far out. You just need like, vision around your base. Yeah, like, just put a, put a ward up on your high ground. Try and de-ward this as well, if they knew about it. Also, send Tusk or Clockwork or one of those heroes to ward. Let's be real. Witch Doctor is way more useful at this point. His, his cask and uh, paralyzing... Uh, paralyzing cask and death ward have been... Two of the biggest factors for ATN in these team fights. They're holding onto their base though. That's uh, a single Rax has fallen and some monkey business. Are they just waiting for the next Roshan here? Find out when he respawns in about a minute or so. 50 seconds. Can't get Huskard, man. Gotta make sure they are safe. I also think that there's still a chance that they'll lose this game, honestly. Slim chance. Which is very absurd, but. <laughs> <laughs> With this kind of lead, 25,000 net worth lead. But then you look at the Invoker, he's gone for like utility items, he's not gone for any any big DPS items. And before I get flamed, I'm I'm going to preface this with Ferrari used to do this on Wex Invoker. Go for the AC Desolator. And then go into the oh. Alacrity. Just to like secure... <laughs> I like how you, <laughs> you lead that <laughs> statement with, Ferrari did it guys, don't flame me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's uh, that right. actually sounds really legit against Oscar. And and against buildings. Like if you want to secure that high ground push, having like double forge spirits once you get up there with AC Deso, it just allows you that little more you know, firepower for taking down buildings. And I have to preface stuff like that because I get called out for my sort of uh thoughts on item builds quite a lot. <laughs> Like, why, why is he flaming this pro player's item build? He's, he's talking about Desolator and Invoker? Oh my god, 2k caster! <laughs> yeah, this is all just, uh... <laughs> just, uh... What, what is it? Uh, st stream of consciousness, guys? That's what casting is. Yeah, we just talk. Eh. You think any of this is planned out? No. <laughs> it just... It just come. It pops into our brain and pops out of our mouths. Yeah, we, we've seen it once in like a pub game, but in our brains we sort of attribute it to some pro player and we're like, yeah, that, that, that worked. That happened. It's a good build. Alright, that, that meatball is gonna go for forever and ever and ever. Look how far it goes. Nisha actually initiated on a miracle. They're gonna try and pop him here. The old scepter buys him a little bit of time. They're throwing everything they have at him. He actually gets out of this one. No! No! Miracle! Don't let him escape again! Oh no, he got out and they blew so much for it too. The shards plus cogs pushing him back and out. And charge forward. Ex oh, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Nisha forced him onto the That's not where ground. Exotic Deer wanted to be, Nisha. Why did you do this? <laughs> All right, Supreme versus No Tail. Round two, or not. No inner vitality for you. All right, finally, Arax has died. Snowball goes out, casket. No tail, bounce it back to you. Yes, yes, satanic. All right, he's gonna he just, just man fight it up this. with yeah. his extra life steal. Now he doesn't care. Oh, nice vacuum catching four there. They're gonna surge on four. They managed to get the tornado. Ice wall on top. Exotic deer just forced to pop his BKB ultimate. Gets laid out and will be chased down by Moon Man to punch him. Like can't quite get him. Round two, punch him again. No, oh, he got him. Like no damage. All right, Supreme, eh, you no longer win the man fight against No Tail. The SF was now that you're now souls. that you're burning spears doesn't mean anything against Satanic. This fight is over. And with the Desolate on Moon Meander, he will fall. That's it. Game number two finally ends. Fifty kills for Monkey Business in 34 minutes. Good stuff. Well done. And that was even with moments of, like, downtime.